Hi. Hey, does the name Ashley Elzinga ring a bell? Ashley Elzinga. Well, if it doesn't, don't worry. I'd never heard of her either. But I can tell you this much. She must have some Dutch blood running through her veins because Elzinga is a Dutch last name. We just pronounce it as Elzinga. Elzinga. Elzinga is a DJ for Live 95.5, and that's a Portland-based radio station. And she made the news last week because a cloned version of Ashley, a cloned version, will do her show for five hours every day. The station is supposedly using Radio GPT, which is an AI-driven localized radio content solution. Live 95.5 isn't the first radio channel to experiment with artificial intelligence, taking over a show. In April of this year, a French-language station, Couleur 3, used five AI-generated voices to present news and aired music entirely produced by computers, because that's what we love to hear, don't we? I don't know how the audience in France reacted, but in Portland, Oregon, a listener thought the AI clone of Elzinga spoke in, quote, a monotone voice and sounded flat. No emotion, no excitement, no, dare I say, humanity, end quote. And that's no surprise, because there is a reason we call this type of intelligence artificial. It can, to a certain extent, replicate, but not replace a human being. What makes us human is the fact that we are emotional beings that want and need genuine emotional connections. I'm fine with an artificial voice in a train station making announcements about departures and delays. I totally understand that they can't have a voice over on duty at every station 24-7 in case a train doesn't arrive on time. But a DJ is different. A DJ is hired to add personality to a show, some quirkiness, some character. I love the spontaneity and unpredictability a good DJ can bring to a program. And those are two things AI is incapable of replicating. It can't be spontaneous or be unpredictable. AI can't cry. It can't be emotional. It is inauthentic by design. Now, Ashley Elzinga was asked if she was afraid that she'd be replaced by her own clone. And she said... If this was my full-time job, I would be worried, but this is not the main thing I do, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, as long as your life loot isn't on the line, who cares, right? In the end, I think it doesn't matter what you and I or Ashley think. It's the audience that decides. And that is a scary thought, isn't it? See you next time.